Rob and I are really kind of in a struggling place. Probably doing the worst we've ever done in our marriage. It's been tough. It's been tough between us. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. And since the season premiere of Sister Wives season 19, a lot of strange things have been happening outside of the content from the show. Although the show is the main source of updates and action with the family, we also have something called social media and internet sleuths that can get every angle of updates with the Brown family. And that's exactly how I know that Cody and Robin are still going strong despite all the chaos and drama surrounding them. For starts, recently Robin and Cody's home that they put on the market for sale for $1.6 million has been removed, not sold, removed. Now, it's absolutely not surprising at all to me because there can be a handful of reasons of why they removed the listing. For one, I mean, the price was just insane. If anybody took a virtual tour of the house, it's not worth anywhere near $1.6 million, which is almost double the price that they purchased the home. I mean, there's also more maintenance issues and technical issues with the home, as well as the appearance that did not fit the home's value. There were already some things that were kind of in the way from this house being sold as well. And that's that big fat lawsuit that Christine filed against Cody. But the big question was, will they still proceed with the sale of the home once everything gets squared away with this lawsuit? More than likely, they will relist the home, in my opinion, once everything gets settled because, I mean, there's no way they can just have a house, have their land on Coyote Pass, and not be in extreme debt. But does the financial woes interfere with their personal marriage? doesn't appear that way as Cody and Robin were spotted out to dinner just a couple of days ago on date night in Flagstaff. Now the fan or the person who snapped this photo said that they both were appeared to be on a date and they looked like they were madly in love. Nothing was getting their spirits down. Keep in mind, Christine and Janelle recently did an interview with Access Hollywood and Janelle explained the status now to this day of Cody's relationship with his kids. And she said that nothing has changed. They're still estranged, which to me, that's kind of sad. Like no movement at all, but all these confessionals that he's doing in this season, I don't think that there is going to be any movement anytime soon. Seeing how happy he was out on the date just makes me a little bit confused thinking, hmm, so he can be happy knowing that he's still estranged from his kids. Janelle says that he still hasn't put in any effort, but clearly we see that he's putting in effort to save the relationship with Robin, which Cody in episode four did make it clear to Robin that he's not going to sabotage the relationship that he has just because of some stubborn kids that don't want to own up to their mistakes, basically. Cody said that he was not guilty of anything except for not loving his other wives the way that he loves Robin. So with everything going on now financially between Cody and Robin, I really don't see how they'll be able to keep the Coyote Pass land, keep the Flagstaff home, and be able to sustain the lifestyle that they need or that they want, especially for Robin. Now Cody and Christine's kids were spotted also in a bookstore with him a couple weeks ago in Utah. So this was actually only Isabel and Truly and McKelty's husband, Tony, was there with them as well. I'm not sure what that meeting was about, but it makes sense for Cody because, you know, Truly, she's still a child. She's only, I think, 14 or 15. And Christine has mentioned before that she never wants to try to prevent her kids from having any type of relationship with their dad, despite Cody saying that Christine is using the kids against him. Janelle's kids are more aware. They're all adults and they know what's going on. They know Cody's actions and they are choosing their own boundaries. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Are you shocked that 
Cody and Robin are still out, you know, having romantic date nights while he's still estranged from his kids. Chime in below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss out. Bye for now.